welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles, and uh, good Saturday morning, if you're watching this as it came out. And, um, well, I got all darn gone and done it. I got the um, Freightliner Cascadia 125 here. thought it better, oh, well, you know, I have uh, all of Ruta's other trucks, so I thought I'd better give it a go. And um, here we are. We've got a uh, little logo on here for R&M Pipeline Construction and Service. And uh, sort of a work in progress, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and I'll show you on the map where we are. We're in, uh, this is the ATS expansion. And it's R&M Pipeline south of town here, south of Woodward. And we're heading to Tulsa. Wasatch. I wonder if we should. I'd rather take this route. I don't know. What's what's the difference? That one's got. This one goes through Oklahoma City. It's all big freeway. This one's probably not as big a road. We could take that. We route ourselves. Hmm. 224 miles. Yeah. What happens if we go this way? Oh, it's shorter. Wow. Yeah, it's not a very long trip. I would like to find a, a little longer one, but I really wanted to do this uh, cargo. As I hauled this cargo out of here the other day, just fooling around, I was really impressed with it. It's a really good looking uh, cargo. This is the Rogers Lowboy from Pister. And uh, yeah, it's it's there. It's really good. And this is, uh, there's some updates. It's pretty, pretty, pretty far out. Anyway, let's, um, so the truck, I got it stretched out. I got um, a Z-Mod uh, Cat C15 MBN in here. Uh, we've got the real Eaton Fuller transmission thing going. And um, there's not a whole lot of exhaust choices. That wouldn't be my first choice there if I had others, but it's the best of what I could do with it. And terms of what I like or whatever but anyway we've got the painted frame I didn't put a deck plate on it kind of get to see what's going on in there without it but anyway let's uh, spark her up and get going the windows down for a bit here so this is uh, the first thing I thought when I hopped in this truck was oh this is like ETS 2 okay let's uh, do something different here and put on our four ways. How about that? Pretty sure I got them going. Oh, did I hit the wrong button for them? Oh, there we go. Oh, parking brake. Got the Freightliner wheels from the 24-5 uh, wheel pack from Retro. And this is the, uh, I think it's, uh, what, a 48 or 42 inch sleeper? And uh, yeah, this yard's pretty cool. So Pipeline Service Company, R&M Pipeline is a real company. And uh, in Woodward, or just on the outskirts. Four ways off. Well, I guess it's all about the drive inside. Let's see what we got. Get myself on the side of the road over here. Go straight. I don't know if we're going to be able to see, you know. Oh, there goes the Chaparral Hotshot. I'll have to get out so we can see that way. It took me a while to get out of here last time I was in here. So I've come up from that direction uh, several times on trips 
coming from the opposite direction we're heading right now. I think when I uh, got out of here, the last time I was here, I just kind of pulled ahead and somebody stopped. But uh, we've got lots of time on the left here. What's happening on the right? Yeah, we're going to just maybe so. Oh, here we go after this guy. Yeah, this truck has a pyrometer on it, so that's pretty cool. That always gets me excited. And it's easy to see, it's uh, right there, the middle gauge. You see it's starting to climb as we're accelerating away here. Yeah, also, this is where I think I should be driving, or should I be? Yeah, that's okay. We're in the middle of the lane, more or less. So, I was chatting with Recon, and uh, I think we both noticed that uh, the number of uh, 9,900 internationals in the game like in traffic there's a ton of them now and it's like they just all of a sudden appeared in the numbers they're they're showing up in pretty crazy there goes another one right there on the left Swan tarp side. Should do a Hell Creek tarp, tarp side too. Go straight. I like that uh, side of that trailer. The ranch on it, all the deer antler out front. I'm not turning right up there. I don't know why I would be. We're going to uh, Tulsa. to see who was driving the Hell Creek truck here. We gotta turn left up here too. Darn, probably missed my chance. I forget who left. who I After put on what truck. Yards, turn left. Like I said before, it's just totally random, like turn left. Oh boy, not too handy on this downshift with this.
not the end of the world. The seating position is definitely low. Like we're way down there. The test, uh, you know, that's different. You see, watch when this car goes by. Compare that to when you're in a W900 or a cab over. <laughs> Is 362, for example. Those beacons aren't too awfully uh, awe-inspiring. I guess they do the job. There's the uh, that bar-type big flat one that's much brighter. I could have put it on, I guess. So, I, I you know, and I got a also think that this truck is like a work in progress uh you know he's just released it there's probably going to be a lot of changes uh one thing i noted there well and i suppose it's probably the way it is with the cascadia i don't know a whole lot about these trucks to tell you the truth but there's no tri drive or uh pusher axle or anything like that it's uh um, just tandem I was surprised they had a, a wheelbase this long, but I guess this wheelbase is for the uh, the big sleeper. I was thinking of doing a day cab uh, and a shorter wheelbase. And, you know, it's a heavy haul kind of truck setup, but. Keep right. Now, speaking of which. This, um, oops, this skin, uh, the idea behind this one, it's similar, I think I mentioned in a previous video, that was going to do something like the uh, Wildcat tracking out of Sydney, Montana that we did, or I did, I guess. I, um, it uh, was just a company logo, like the actual logo on the door. This is not the actual logo. I wasn't real thrilled with the uh, R&M's actual right. logo. I thought it was a little, you know, they could have done a little more with it. So I, um, I came up with this one. So what I'm thinking is, um, well, it's, it can go on a lot of trucks. There's no, it's not like it's, uh, you know, a three-day paint job like some of the ones I've been doing lately. I've just been, oh man, that uh, one I put out Friday. Keep right. The uh, uh, the one for the SCS 389 today, the Grey Ghost. I had to start all over this morning. I had like a day and a half in it, and it just wasn't working. And things were just getting, it was like little adjustments and tweaks and everything else was all piling up to the point where it was just making the whole thing kind of garbage. And I just chucked the whole thing and started over. And uh, so, yeah, it's been frustrating lately. Uh, it's just some of the time it takes to do some of these skins this w900 with the tuning pack right. after 50 yards exit right ahead those skins took a long time and not because there's problems exit just because right the ahead. amount of stuff you got to paint all those parts holy now what was the recommendation Somebody on Steam commented, uh, 
about a skin that I got to put on it. I think it's an existing W900. Skin, what the heck was it to put on that? Uh, but it's not an overly complicated one. I can't remember what it was. This load isn't urgent. We're not uh, spending very much time at, uh, at or above the speed limit. Adaptive cruise off. I hope that was triggering it. Pretty sure if you got that button to deactivate or activate the, uh, I think the adaptive cruise is on. Oh boy, we're getting the the hurry up here. Oh, we only got 40 miles to go. No, the adaptive cruise is on when you hit the button, okay. Turn it off. Well, that's quite the toll way. There's another toll paid, $9 automatically. Well, the adaptive cruise is still going. If I point at that guy, yeah, it slows us down. Maybe I was just, I'd hit my 75 miles an hour. Oh, here comes the road construction too. Oh, I gotta be in the right lane. This is quite the uh, deal through here. Jumped out in front of that guy, but there it goes. Keep right after 50 yards. Exit right. Ahead. Such a great cargo. Looks really good on here. Exit right ahead. So, so Pister is coming out with a key for his trailers and trucks, or at least he's got it on the Rogers and the Wade and on the truck, the 389. And uh, Recon and I were doing a little test of it in convoy. Man, we didn't have a clue what we we're doing, how to get it to work. But uh, Pister did and got, you know, told us what to do. You, um, when you're setting up your convoy, You've got to select optional mods under advanced filters. And you have to have that selected. And then if you're joining the convoy uh, with the key, you've got to have your, your keys in the in the uh, load order uh, in your mod. Oh, sorry. The key is part of your load order. And so the truck or trailer doesn't work without it. But you don't need to share keys 
like you used to early on when Conway first came out with some of the other trucks, like Ruta, for example, or uh, Roland. Uh, they all figured it out eventually, and I guess uh, Pistors works fine too. But we just got to remember to, um, if you're doing Convoy with the Pistor, the updated 389 or Rogers, which we're pulling here, or the Wade is to do that optional uh, mods in, uh, under advanced filters. And if you're joining the Convoy, same thing. When you're creating the convoy, unfortunately, Recon created the convoy, so I missed. There's a second place you gotta enable it after you've created the mod or the convoy, but uh, it's no big deal. Keep left. Important thing is to know that it works. And you know, knowledge. You know, there's yards, turn left. so much thievery and leaking going on and stuff that you know we can blame a guy if he wants to protect his left. property. So this trailer has a couple uh, kingpin locations. This is the forward pin. So if you're looking at the Rogers and wondering what the heck is that all about, that's the forward pin. You really want that for a try at Tritum. Right. And the rear set pin puts the uh, Turn right. puts a truck a lot closer. The the mud flaps, the rear wheels, a lot closer to the neck of the trailer. So that forward pin is actually kind of nice. It does make the trailer longer in terms of your turning moment. Like, uh oh, get out here and what we got coming here. All right, must be coming from that way, around the corner. I gotta pull a little further up. Oh, I come. What's going on here? Oh, here we go. So this is a uh, what a D6R. It's funny how close that looks to. This one. See what got me going on that uh, R and M logo, their their actual logo. I can move away from the train for a bit. Their um, side boom on their logo has the boom on the right hand side, and I looked through images, and I couldn't find a picture of a of a pipeline. Uh, A side boom with the with the uh, with the boom on the uh, right hand side. Everyone, they're on the left. That's kind of why I started. I went, oh man, I gotta just make a logo. You have reached your destination. All right. Let's, can we get in over there? Oh, no, you can't. we got to back in from here. All right. Oh, we're stuck on that speed bump. All right, check this out. Let's see. <laughs> Four ways, then I honk the horn.
Oops, sorry. Uh, it's, uh, well, I'm apologizing to you guys for turning the steering wheel the wrong way. <laughs> I guess I'm apologetic because I waste your time when I screw up on the parking. Saturday, man, you guys got things to do. Tomorrow's video, that's going to be, boy, I got a, a good trip planned for tomorrow. Not going to spill the beans, but it's called them all Sunday tomorrow. And uh, it's going to be a pretty good one. There we go. Well, there's a trip under our belt in the Cascadia 125. Hmm. I wasn't going to buy it. Like, I really wasn't. And then I thought, oh, well, you know, people are going to want to see it. And uh, yeah, I'm sure that there's going to be skin requests and there's going to be all kinds of things going on. And it's not like it's the end of the world. Like, it's not an overly expensive mod at 25 bucks. And uh thought, well, let's do it. And looking forward to updates. Like, I mean, those pipes, they yikes they don't suit the truck at all like but they're just kind of ginormous but it's got potential it's got potential it's uh, I, I i can see that um yeah there, there's it's a whole different kettle of fish for skinning compared to what i you know the trucks i like which are the big Kenworths and uh, the W900s, Peterbilt 389s, and some cab overs. So this is, like I say, it's a whole, a whole lot more like uh, dealing with uh, an ETS uh, vehicle. But it's all good. And uh, anyway, I won't belabor the point. We'll just uh, carry on. I've showed you the, uh, oh, this is um, one of the new things on the uh, Rogers is there's different colors of wood for the deck. And there's a stinger now, or a booster, or whatever you want to call it, available for the back. It's still, uh, you don't get a Jeep, so there's no point in running the stinger unless you really have a Tritum, a triaxle tractor, because if you, if you need a, if you got so much weight on the trailer that you need to add a fourth axle at the back, well, I think you should have at least three up front. <laughs> so all you're going to do is be overloading these front two axles that we have now, so... I left it off for this video. But um, anyway, catch you later, guys, and uh, take care. Uh, thanks for everything. Oh, you know what? I've been meaning to say for days now, and I keep forgetting, and I just want to give a shout-out to all the people who are affected by all of these storms and fires. And, you know, in California, this the flooding and in the southwest in general, the heat wave in the Midwest, and all the stuff that's going on here in Canada, the whole place is burning up. And uh, I just want to say to everybody that uh, is affected or knows people who are, that, man, you know, I feel for you. And uh, really, you know, looking forward to things getting back to uh, somewhere approaching normal, if it ever does. But I just, uh, I'm thinking of you. And uh, I, uh, I, I can't know how you feel but i uh, just want you to know that you guys you're in my thoughts so everybody out there we're with you take care and bye for now